But obviously a busy week coming up for, for all of you with a, a Tuesday, Saturday double, but quickly just casting your mind back to, to Saturday, how do you kind of reflect on that now that you've had a, a couple of days, I suppose, to, to process the performance and obviously a positive result as well? Yeah, no, it was a, a brilliant result uh, in the circumstances after the week that we had, which is always difficult. Um, you know, Rob, Louis and Sweens, you know, the, the environment uh, that they've created, the way that we play, I think uh, all the lads really bought into it. So it's sad to see them leave. Obviously, we wish them all the best um, down at Crawley. But, uh, you know, it's not easy for the group. So, you know, we spoke a lot about just trying to get in the right headspace um, during this period uh, until a new manager comes in. Um, nothing's going to change from our point of view in terms of the way we go about things, uh, the way that we the, the way that we try to play, and um, and it, it you know, Wilston were a decent team in my opinion. The the better than their league position suggests. I think if you look actually at their games, they've conceded a few last minute equalisers and uh, drawn a lot of games, um, and they made it hard for us. You know, they pressed hard in the. Uh, in the first half, um, we weren't as clean, as controlled as we'd like to be. Um, but I said to the lads, you know, we're, we're all human beings and I think you could feel that after a probably emotionally draining week. Um, you know, we, we was probably a little bit off in, in, in certain areas, but worked really hard, stuck together for the clean sheet, ultimately got the win and uh, a massive three points. So. Um, yeah, looking forward to the week coming um, up. And you mentioned it being a, a difficult week, of course, in terms of all the off-field distractions, I suppose, with management and departing, but it's been a busy week for yourself and, and obviously Greg as well coming in and, and helping on the training side of things. So really, how's it been from your point of view in trying to help the lads from that perspective? And obviously with yourself, you're still trying to focus on playing as well. Yeah, it's been, uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been good. It's been, I speak to some lads about it this morning. It's, uh, it, I do some coaching down at Leeds in the academy, um, but actually when you're trying to do both, when you're trying to coach and play and obviously train, get yourself ready to, to perform, uh, go out and play and you're, you're coaching and trying to give instructions, trying to see the big picture as well, uh, you know, being considerate about all the group and all that stuff. So trying to do both at the same time is, is, is quite tricky, um, but good learning experience for me. Um, lads have been brilliant, really receptive. Um, Training's been very good, really enjoyed the training, the lads have been at it and um, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, and in terms of tomorrow, of course, a, a long midweek trip for yourselves to, to Tamworth. I mean, everyone will, will probably look at it as being obviously one of the, the plastic pitches or 4G pitches in the league, which can throw up some differences sometimes. But how are you looking ahead to tomorrow? Because obviously from your perspective, you're on a good run of form again and have, have been getting positive results, even if, like you say, on Saturday, you maybe felt like the performance wasn't the cleanest. At the end of the day, it was three points. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And obviously, look, it's first team football, we're in the winning business. and. Um, I think, I said to the lads this morning, I think, I hope my calculator didn't let me down, but I think we're on course for 100 points as it stands. So, you know, just a re reminder that, you know, it feels like we've been through a lot this season with injuries and the manager leaving, a lot of things going on, but still we've maintained performances and results and we've actually had a really fantastic start. So, you know, we should really take confidence from that. And uh, I think going into tomorrow, um, what I sort of stressed this morning is let's let's really focus on um, you know what makes us so good as a team, sort of our identity, how we play, sort of being really clean uh, in possession, really controlled, um, lots of passes, and um, you know I think I think stylistically against Tamworth that that'll sort of benefit us as, as well. So we're sort of fully focused on getting our levels as high as they can be, sort of playing the best football that we can. And, um, you know, hopefully a positive result will, will come with that as well. I mean, you mentioned in terms of league, sort of status league position, obviously things are going well on, on that front at the minute. Is that an extra sort of carrot at the end of the stick, I suppose, for, well, I was going to say the boys in the changing room, but yourself as part of the changing room as well? Yeah, it is. Obviously, we are doing well. We want to be as high as we can. Um, but, I mean, what Rob... Louis and Sweeney's always stressed, and I fully agree with, is that you know performances will lead to results in the long term. So, you know, I don't, I don't, don't want us to just focus on trying to get the wins. Um, ultimately, that's what we want. 
and you take them in different circumstances. Uh, but really focus on performance and like I said before, um, training and, and sort of meetings have been, you know, uh, tailored to, uh, as good in possession as we can be, which is really our the sort of super strength of the group, really, which is our big identi identity and how we play. It's, uh, as possession-based football, attacking football, so um, all focuses on being as, as good as we can be in that department.